Welcome back to the Ferguson family. Today we're installing the kitchen plinth. We installed packers for the back of the kitchen cabinet wall some time ago, so we just had to attach the 9mm Akum plywood panel using no more nails and then nail it into position. Now Jason is attaching aluminium channel to the floor for the kickboard to slot into. We mask off the area, apply MS sealant and then screw the piece of channel into position. Now we need to prepare the aluminium channel which will screw to the underside of our bench top. Jason is marking out, cutting and filing a piece of aluminium before test fitting it on the piece of wood. Jason drills pilot holes for the screws and then everything is masked up. We are ready to apply MS sealant and screw it into position. Next we attach the small pieces of channel which attach to the wall at each end of the kickboard. We can permanently fit the kickboard in place. Now we are pre-drilling the holes for the plinth to be screwed to the floor from underneath. As we are drilling, we realise the mudguard for the wheel is in the way, so we have to remove it. Apply MS sealant to the channel sections, and then we apply liquid nails to the plinth where it attaches to the floor. Jason screws it in from underneath. You can't permanently attach the top of this plinth until the heater ducting and wiring is in. We'll work on the cupboard by the boys' bunk next. Follow us so you don't miss an episode.